Next question. Um, <clears throat> what, is the, what are the bullet points and keys to success for motivating and engaging your team of leaders? Well, first of all, we just kind of covered that when we talked with uh, about about face for a solid hour, <laughs> which is which is one of the questions here. I actually answered this question last time. So this is a question that you hear all the time is, you know, what can I do to motivate these guys? How can we get them engaged? And first of all, I want to say that leadership, although there are basic principles, fundamental principles that can be used it is not something that can be bulletized. It is, it is like trying to bulletize how you play guitar or trying to bulletize how you play the violin. It is, a, it is an art. It is a practice. And there are many, many different ways to, to manipulate that instrument to make it make the noise that you want it to make. And that's what leadership is. Yeah. Leadership is not follow these four steps and you will become a good leader. It doesn't work that way. Mm. It is an art. Now, again... Just like there's principles behind music, there's principles behind leadership and the fundamental principles stay the same. But how you engage with those and the nuances involved in executing those, those principles is what makes leadership so challenging, which again is why we have a book, which is why we have a business, which is why there's leadership schools around the world because it is a very challenging thing to do. Right. So, you know, the bullets are I almost after saying that, you know, what what are the bullets? Well, you got to build relationships. You got to listen to people. You got to give respect. You got to the main thing we talked about tonight with about face. You got to answer that. Why people got to understand why you're doing what you're doing and understand what their perspective is. So you got to communicate with them. It's all those things. But I think it's important to realize that leadership is a learning, constant learning process. It's a nuanced tool. There aren't any bulletized lists that are going to make you into a great leader tomorrow. What there are are principles that you can learn and understand and interpret and apply in different ways with different amplitudes at different times with different personalities. It's mayhem. Mm -hmm. It's mayhem. That's what makes it so challenging and so fun. And I, I, that's what makes me love to talk about leadership because there's it's an infinitely complex thing on in so many different ways. But all that being said, it is something that does follow core principles. Mm -hmm. And so learn those core principles, know those core principles, and that's what will make you a good leader. But don't look for a quick solution. Look for a comprehensive, a comprehensive uh, mass of knowledge and technique and understanding that will make you a better leader.